When it comes to tendinous elbow treatment, cortisone is the very definition of a quick fix cure. The powerful steroid shot can often instantly wipe away pain like magic, possibly giving you complete relief in the short term. But the question is, at what cost? Are there any tangible lasting benefits to your healing process? Or is cortisone just a deceptive mirage, lulling you into a false sense of well-being until the illusion evaporates with your next relapse? This is Alan Willat, your tennis elbow tutor, and I do understand your urgent need for relief from the burning pain may make cortisone's fast results seem very attractive and their risks seem insubstantial and distant, but I hope this video will help you resist it because the research I'm going to share with you reveals why cortisone shots will not help your tennis elbow heal or give you any lasting benefit, how it actually interferes with healing and can damage your tendons, and how despite the fact that medical researchers have known about these harmful effects for decades, many doctors are still recommending and giving them out without full disclosure of the risks. Let's take a look at a mainstream story from the New York Times Well blog. The author Gretchen Reynolds poses the question, do cortisone shots actually make things worse? She makes a really good case that they do, citing a recent Lancet published review of over 40 clinical trials involving people with tendon injuries, especially tennis elbow. The review showed that in the short term, it was clear that the shots did provide quick and significant pain relief. No surprise there. No one's arguing that the drug doesn't relieve pain. But in the long term, six months to a year later, the people who had the cortisone shot were a lot worse off than those who did nothing. Almost two-thirds of them had a relapse. Now, I don't know about you, but when I read relapse, what I hear is the pain came back with a vengeance. Now, jumping over to the Lancet article itself, actually, this is just the summary. The shots reduced pain in the short term compared with other interventions, but this effect was reversed at intermediate and long terms. So basically, the medical researchers are saying there's no evidence that they work, and in fact, they're harming people. The ones who had the shot were in more pain in the long run. Now back to Gretchen's article. Here's the big revelation from Dr. Vicenzino, Vis Vis Vicenzino, the senior author of the Lancet Review. Those people receiving multiple injections may be at particularly high risk for continuing damage. This is something I've been convinced of for many years as a therapist treating people with tennis elbow. I believe I've seen the results of that continuing damage firsthand in my practice. And this is a big problem everywhere. I just got an email from a guy in South America, I'll call him Andrew, who's been having a really tough struggle with his tennis elbow for two years now. Unfortunately, he's had three shots in a row, which makes it, it really, really challenging to recover from in my experience. Three shots seems to be much, much worse than two, from what I can tell. And I can't help but wonder if the damage is exponential. Well, hang in there, Andrew. Getting back to the medical research, here's a key quote from an often cited paper I consider the Bible on tendon injuries, Histopathology of Common Tendinopathies. It's a game changer if you can get through all the jargon. It's clear that corticosteroid injection into tendon tissue leads to cell death and tendon atrophy. Cell death is pretty evident pretty self-evident. Tendon atrophy simply means shrinking and weakening, and atrophy can apply to muscles as well. Now that these risks have been well documented, and they certainly have been, they're not supposed to inject the cortisone directly into the tendon anymore, rather around it. But how much safer can this be? And does your doctor even know this and follow it to the letter? How accurate can they be with that needle? More importantly, do you really want a drug that's been shown to kill cells, shot under your skin, around your tendon, or anywhere near it? It also notes that the shot can inhibit collagen synthesis and decrease load to failure. Well, inhibiting your collagen formation is also a, a very bad thing because collagen is the protein your tendon is made of. And in the process of healing, you have to be able to produce more of it to repair and strengthen your tendon. And decreased load to failure simply means your tendon becomes weaker. 
can't handle as much stress or weight on it before it fails and possibly even ruptures. What are these shots supposedly treating anyway? They're chasing away inflammation, right? Well, theoretically, yes. But in reality, there is no inflammation to chase away in most cases. This is my favorite research quote so far. It's from Lateral Tennis Elbow. Is there any science out there? By surgeons Boyer and Hastings. As orthopedic surgeons, we're besieged by myths that guide our treatment of lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow. The term suggests an inflammatory cause. However, uh, dot dot dot, no evidence of acute or chronic inflammation is found. I skipped over some technical details about, you know, they're examining tissue and whatnot. But there's just, it's just one of those countless references showing that the inflammation story is just a tired old myth. The research clearly shows and has for decades that most cases of tennis elbow and other cases of so-called tendonitis are degenerative, not inflammatory. They started calling it tendinosis, uh, as I said, decades ago. See my article and video on tendonitis versus tendinosis at Tennis Elbow Classroom for more on this important distinction. So in conclusion, cortisone shots in return for that fleeting pain relief offer no proven long-term benefits. They risk making the problem much worse by slowing your healing process, killing your tendon cells, and weakening your tendon by chasing after a ghost called inflammation that isn't even there. And I have to point out, even if you do have some inflammation going on around your tendon, that's good. It's part of your healing process and not something you should try and chase, it, chase away in the first place. Unless, of course, you have massive swelling, which I've never even seen. Finally, although the big MD-type consumer medical info sites sadly still recommend cortisone shots as if they're good medicine and still perpetuate the silly inflammation myth, it's, it's very encouraging to see the truth about cortisone now going mainstream. Please help spread the word. You can find links to the sources I quoted and several others I didn't in the full article that accompanies this video at Tennis Assemble Classroom. You'll also find many more free articles and videos there, as well as a complete self-help home treatment program available for members. If you're tired of that vicious cycle of pain and the crazy train that goes from one useless remedy, shot, or gimmick to the next, without lasting results, then I look forward to showing you how your healing process really works and how to sensibly and effectively support it so you can put an end to your tennis elbow once and for all. This is Alan from TennisElbowClassroom.com.